Now the experiment I am going to perform is to uh, determine the wavelength of three different colors uh, of white light using a plane transmitter grating. So I am using a mercury lamp in w from which I am getting a white light and using uh, uh, the grating uh, diffraction grating experiment I will uh, try to find out the wavelength of three different colors like red, yellow, violet or green. So uh, the apparatus I am going to use is the grating. Uh, you can see this this is my grating and uh, this is my grating which I am going to use and then I have a spectrometer. So this is my spectrometer. You can see uh, for the detail of the spectrometer, its uh, scales and the least count and all these uh, can, you can see on my uh, video which is for the spectrometer, which is on a spectrometer. So this is my uh, collimeter which is, which is uh, this is my helium neon source, this is here where my slate is and this is my collimeter, uh, the light is coming from here and then I have a telescope here. And this is my prism table or the grating table and then I have two scale here you can see one is uh, so the procedure is start uh, uh, with the making this uh, slit very narrow and looking by this eyepiece uh, the light which is coming from the collimeter by looking this eyepiece and uh, using the screws of this knobs and this this knob and try to make uh, the light the white light which is coming which you can see from the eyepiece to have has to be very sharp and and uh, uh, put this uh, uh, light which is this the light which is a line which is has to be very narrow and try to make uh, sorry make this light narrow and and coincide this with the cross wire of the eyepiece so there, there, there is a crosswire in the eyepiece. So coincide this crosswire with the eyepiece. Okay. Now, uh, when you've done this, uh, you uh, note down uh, the position here. Uh, you note down the position here uh, on uh, the main scale as well as on the vernier scale. Okay. Uh, what is the main scale reading and what is the vernier scale reading? Uh, you have to note it down okay then uh, you please what do what to do that you know that how to note down uh, the vernier scale and the main scale reading uh, like here you can see this zero of the main scale the zero of the main scale is like here is 80 this is 85 around 85 or 84 okay so this is my main scale and then uh, you have to see uh, which number of the vernier is coinciding. So the once I note down uh, this uh, uh, scale leading uh, and then what I have to do is I have to add 90 degree, 90 degree to this angle so that I have to move this telescope. So like when I am moving this telescope you can see uh, the main scale is moving. You can see the main scale is moving. So the moment I add 90 degree to the first reading, what I did is that my this telescope is at 90 degree to the collimator. Okay. So once I do this, I, I will fix I will fix the position of the telescope by by this screw. I'll fix the position of the telescope so that the telescope doesn't move. So now this is. The, the beam which is coming from the collimeter is at the 90 degree of this uh, telescope arrive is. Now next what I have to do is I have to put this grating with the unruled side which is which is on this side. So put this perpendicular to or you can say, say perpendicular to uh, like no the perpendicular to the collimeter okay perpendicular try to put it perpendicular to the collimeter that is like this and then after doing this what you have to do is just releasing this prism table releasing this prism table and you have I have to rotate this table so that I can see the light which was coming so if when it was here 
perpendicular to manually so I cannot see the light which was coming from here was falling on this grating I cannot see through the eyepiece because eyepiece is perpendicular to this so I'll, I'll make it uh, like move it try to move it and try to see through the eyepiece of the telescope that the the moment the light which was coming from here and falling on the grating is like when this grating is at 45 degree then I'll, I'll try uh, I'll, the light which was coming from the collimeter will be seen on this telescope okay on the cross wire okay so try to make this movement okay so the moment this is like at 45 degree you can see at the moment this is at 45 degree so light will come here and then reflect back to the eyepiece okay so when this happen i'll i'll fix this i'll fix the movement of uh, the prism table so that it does not move okay using this screw now it's it will not move and then it is also fixed okay now what i have to do is i have to i have to uh, at this position what i have to do is i have to rotate this world near this this scale this upper scale this 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 one scale 245 degree in this direction so what i have to do when i'll i'll move this this scale okay to 45 degree so whatever the reason i'll, I'll you can see this upper scale is moving okay you can see the lower is not moving the upper scale is moving and whatever whatever the reading was here you add 45 degree to that and move it to 45 degree okay so when you do that like earlier it was like this was at this position when i move this exactly 45 degree with the scale then it now it becomes perpendicular exactly perpendicular to uh, the light which is coming from the collimeter so the light which is coming from the collimeter is now exactly falling 90 degree at the grating okay and this moment now I, I'll, I'll what I'll do I'll I'll fix with this scale with this knob to to this rotation now I cannot rotate it this scale I cannot rotate it now I'll, I'll I will lose the spectrometer Uh, I'll lose uh, the telescope and then I'll, I'll make it here, move here. So the moment the light which is coming from the collimator which was falling perpendicular to this, I can see directly here falling on the cross wire. So I'll have to stop here at this position. Now this, this procedure is uh, for the normal setting which, which is for that the light which is coming from the collimator is, has to fall exactly perpendicular at the 90 uh, perpendicular to the grating and then it goes to the telescope and we'll see this coincide this with the cross wire this is the first part and in the second part in the second part why what i have to do now i am at this position that the light is coming and falling on the grating perpendicular and then it going directly to the eyepiece now when, when I move my eyepiece to the right or left, so if I go to, towards the left here, so I'll find a spectrum at this position, which will be my first order spectrum. That will be web, web gear. This will be the first order spectrum, violet, indigo, blue, then red. So all these color I'm going to find here. And then similarly the first order on the right side. Right. And then if I move further, I'll, I'll get the second spectrum where we are, which will, will be of second order. And then similarly on the left side will be of the second order. So like uh, from this position, if I'll, I'll go here and look from the eyepiece, I'll find this position A1 in which I'll, I'm, I'll see that different color, violet, indigo, blue, green and all these web gear colors, red color. So there will be the spectrum okay similarly if i move further move further so then i'll get a second order uh, spectrum 
and similarly if I come here and then go on the other side I'll get the first order spectrum and on the second order spectrum okay so what I have to do is that like from this position I know from this direct position from perpendicular position I have to uh, note down my reading like I have decided for three different colors like violet green and yellow okay so what I have to do is the first position of the telescope and the second position of the telescope okay so what is that like if I fix the violet color some moment I go on this side so I'll, I'll see the spectrum different colors violet to red so then I, I'll, I'll from from this knob I'll, I'll with the fine tune and that the cross wire matches with the violet color and then at that moment I will stop then when the cross wire of this my eyepiece is matches with the violet color I will go here and try to note down the reading of the vernier this main scale reading and then as well as uh, the main scale reading uh, and the vernier coinciding vernier Similarly, uh, the second vernier uh, reading, main scale reading, and the vernier scale reading. So this will be the for the violet color. So I can see uh, the main scale reading here. Okay, vernier one, and this this is uh, the vernier scale coinciding, and the vernier two reading, and the main scale coinciding. You can see the difference between these two reading has to be 180 degree. This is 229.5. And, the, and this is 49.5. This is 49.5. So 0, 9, and 0, 8, 180 degree. Why these two reading uh, difference between V1 and V2? Because these two scale, these two scale, one is this one and one is this one, these are 180 degree apart. Okay? So uh, this is what we have to do. Like for the violet color, I'll fix the cross wire on the violet color and try to note uh, the readings of the vernier 1 and vernier 2. Okay? Similarly, for the green color, I'll do, I'll, I'll keep on moving with the fine tune or this movement. I will, I'll match the cross wire with the green color and then for the red color and for all the colors, I'll have to note the V1 and the V2 reading like which is noted down here for the green color V1, V2 reading and for the yellow color V1, V2 reading. So, okay, main, one near, main, one near, main, one near and main, one near. And then I know the total, how to note the to total reading. Uh, for this, how to find the total reading, you go to the video, uh, which is uh, what about uh, the spectrometer, how to take the spectrometer reading. Now, uh, what I have to do is like for the second position of the telescope, this is what, this is when I do, when I come here and when, when I go to the other side, other side, that means now I was doing for this, now I will go for this first order spectrum on the other side. So this side also I will go for the violet reading, match the cross wire for the green reading, match the cross wire for the red reading, match the cross wire. Okay. And then I will have to note the violet reading for the uh, second position of the telescope, this V1, V2 for the green and for the yellow. So for the three colors I will have to do the same thing and then this is what 2 theta. Okay. 2 theta is what? This is this is the angle between this and this. This is 2 theta. The first order, if I choose the violet color here and the violet color here, so this reading of the violet color minus this reading of the violet color will give me 2 theta. Similarly, if I choose the green color, the green color minus green color will give me the 2 theta. So you can see here, this, this is my uh, uh, V1, V2, V1 reading of uh, the violet color, which is for the first position, this is 229.53, and for the second position, this is 253.51. So the difference between this and this is 23.98. Similarly, for the V2 scale, so this is 49.5, this is 71.3, this is this thing. Similarly, for the, these, these, are, these are the two theta, and these, these, these are the theta. Okay, so take the mean of this theta here and then you find the value of the sine theta, okay, which we will be using in, in, in the formula that is AB sine theta, okay, for the first order. So AB I know is uh, uh, the grating element, 
and sine theta for if if I'm going for the violet color so I'll use the sine theta which for the violet color I have calculated it and then I'll put here sine theta and we'll find the value of lambda okay similarly for the second order you can see the second order spectrum if I go from this to further I'll get the second order spe uh, spectrum so if I am here, I'm, this is my first order position. If I move further, I'll get the second order. Similarly, so I'll do, I'll go for the second order here and the second order here. So you can see for the other table for the second order, I'll, I'll go again for the violet, green and yellow and I'll do the same thing. Okay, I'll go for the second order and go for the violet color, match the crosswire with the violet color, note down V1 and V2. And similarly, for the second order on this side, violet color, V1 and V2 readings. I have to write it down like this is V1 and V2 reading. And then again, we have to find 2 theta, theta and all this. You can see that the, if, if I go second order, this is 0 0.442, exactly double of this around 0 0.206. Okay. So for the second order, for the second order, you can see A plus B will remain same, but the, for N becomes 2 here and theta which is which is which i have to take is from the second order table which is 0 0.442 okay so then in that case i'll find the lambda for the violet color and and once i i, I calculate this all this theta for the first order as well as theta for the second order for these three colors i'll find the first order reading like you can lambda a plus b sine theta so a plus b 2.4 by by 15000 and this is sine theta for the violet color in 10 to the power 8 angstrom. Then using this n lambda because n is 1 for the first order. So I'll n in 2. And for the second order, I'm going to use n here is 2. So here in the denominator, n becomes 2 comes here in the denominator like 2.5 for 15,000 into 2. And then this sine theta and all these things. So the first order reading for the violet color is 3481.4 angstrom and the, for the violet color second order is 37349 angstrom. So I'll take the mean of these two then, then I can say uh, what is uh, 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 the wavelength of the violet color and the green color and the yellow color and that, that those I have to write in our results. So this is a quite simple experiment but we have to be, be very careful we have to very careful by taking the uh, reading uh, and uh, for violet, red and this and finding out the second order and the first order. And before that, the normal sitting which I have, I have explained to you is, is also important that the light from the collimator has to fall exactly at a 90 degree to this um, grating. Otherwise, things will not remain same and the, your reading will be 